Well, hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. Tiger Queen here. We're gonna be doing a little bit of drawing outside today. Now, let me be clear before we uh, break this quarantine. Uh, you know, we're not gonna be actually going outside and interacting with other people, right? The CDC wants us to stay at least six feet away from others at all times. But what I am saying is let's just kind of enjoy the natural beauty of our front and backyards and appreciate that in a sort of little drawing type of way. All right. Got my paper and my pencil as well as my lucky boots on. So let's hit it, y'all. So just to start, I'm going to kind of examinify everything that we got back here. You know, now my backyard might not look like all y'all's backyard. I mean, it's got some pretty funky stuff in it, especially this little tiger right here. Hello, sweetie. Your mama some sugar. This is turtle. Anyway, back to the lesson. So, we got ourselves a pretty funky little South Austin backyard right here. We got all kinds of little plants and stuff that we're growing for the end times. What kind of shapes do you think you'd be able to draw here, you know? Don't be picking nothing that's a little too hard. You want to choose something that appeals to you, but also is realistic, you know? Oh, look at that little darling right there. Now she's a something special. I think we can all agree about that. I might try to draw her a little bit later. All right, so after examining to find my whole backyard, I think I decided upon this little basic little plant right here. Uh, we'll get to her later, but it's hard to get her to stay still. So we're just gonna start here with this little fella. If any of y'all remember how to do the uh, blind contour technique or the modified contour technique, now that might actually really help you in this scenario. But I'm gonna start here with this top little leaf, you know, and we're just gonna dive right in. All right. I'm just gonna draw that top guy right there, have it come back down. And I'm gonna draw some of his little friends here in the middle. All right. Don't worry about no overlapping now. You know, we clean that up with the eraser later. All right. Very nice. Bringing it in, getting all them nice little contours. Contours are basically just like lines, you know? Like when they say the contour makeup, and they're talking about all those dark lines that they then blend later. But before they do all that fancy blending, they're just doing a little contour. So I gave my little plant a name, calling it Pepper Plant, because I mean, that's what it is. It is what it is. And now I'm just kind of adding in a little bit of shading into each of these leaves in the, in the center here, a little bit of focus. And uh, since I plan on watercolor in this later, I'm not too worried about all that detail. I'm not too worried about all that shading because I fully plan on putting more of that in with the actual paints, which I will show you how to make basic watercolors out of spice cabinet at home. Got all kinds of special little stuff in there. I'm excited to show y'all. So I think that guy is done. All right, I'm gonna call that good. Next up, I'm gonna draw this little guy right here. Uh, it just kind of appeals to me, you know, he's real short and spiky and sharp. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Now, I hear that the weather people are saying that, you know, we might get a little bit of rain showers over this next week. So, if you feel like it's a little too wet to be going outside, I recommend you uh, wait a little bit in between rainstorms. Take your phone and go snap some photos real quick of the things that you like to draw. Once you got them photos, you just draw them inside. Y'all see what he does to me? Savage. Savage monster.
I'm gonna throw this guy right here in the middle, even though it's not like that necessarily in reality. I just think it'll fit nicely on the page, and that's the beauty of being an artist, you know? You got to make your own rules, you know? It's all about freedom, baby, just like in America. You know, there's really nothing more American than being an artist. Now, earlier I was talking a little bit about the uh, beauty of America. And, you know, if you're looking around, you're outside, and you're like, I don't really got a whole lot to draw. Uh, you know, we don't have to be drawing plants now. You can just kind of see if you got any objects. For example, ain't nothing more American than the American barbecue grill. So I think that's what I'm going to be drawing next. I drew a cactus, a pepper plant, a cat, some mushrooms, and a barbecue grill. Now, in order for us to get a 100, you only have to draw three things. I'm a bit of a tryhard, and I like to challenge myself, so I drew five. But to get a 100, you gotta draw three things and watercolor at least one of them. There, now, ain't she a thing of beauty? Well, you say we go inside and slap some paint on this thing. 